All right, let's check out the Rari Governance token. So, wow, I mean, I could have drawn this fib all the way up to here, but there's no way I could draw a fib all the way up to there. So it seems like in a day it went from $8 all the way up to 400 and then came absolutely crashing down. So I imagine obviously this was um, kind of in the heat of the bull market. It got listed all the way up there. Um, we have had massive impulses since then. Let's go see what the market cap of this is because this, I imagine it's dirt cheap if it's able to have massive moves like this. So yeah, it is, it's, it's like 185. Wow, fully diluted is only 190 as well. So, it, I mean, uh, it seems like the circulating supply is the almost the total supply out so there's barely any more inflation obviously apparently this doesn't have a max supply but uh from what i can see you know new coins aren't being added at least in the short term now if we do look at this massive rally it had from when it got put on coinbase you can see it went in this massive channel when it broke out and it hasn't been performing well since so i've actually got my fib from the low that it was listed on coinbase all the way to the high here because there's no way you know in my right mind i would draw a fib from all the way up there when we've got like maybe like what one second worth of touch points if we do see if there's another low for this potentially where we could draw this to um you can see this really started rallying from 130 i'd say 130 or 1 124 is when we had this big move up so let's see if this is where we got listed no we got a little bit below this which i don't think will make this chart look any better so where was it one 124 124 if we find the exact bottom and see where personally i'd be looking for it to break out of before i got bullish so you can see we have sliced through the 786 here i will mark this orange so i can zoom in on the data and you know where it's at so yeah basically right here we have recently broken through this so all, obviously all of this market structure to the upside has been invalidated we do look very bearish in the short term and i really don't like how the money flow indicator is heavily extended but you know we're moving down it really shows me that this doesn't have much room to the upside at least in the short term especially while we're below the 786 so there is not really a fib i can give you i mean i can draw a fib retracement target from here to here but i honestly wouldn't take it to the bank or i wouldn't take too much notice of it because it is such a very small micro fib but you know if if i had to kind of say because obviously there's there's no more fibs down here there's no more touch points i can't draw it anywhere else uh from where it would have topped off so in my opinion the next target that we'd be coming down to is somewhere around this 12 vicinity um obviously we have still freshly broken below the 786 so i do say we probably have a little bit more more momentum to the downside i would be predicting like a 20 point uh, a 20.5 percent drop in the short term now if we are able to have a strong pump say, if, say for example if um if bitcoin manages to hop above this uh this previous resistance here at 41.5 back test and go off to the races we would have broken out of this w and we would have broken out of this big descending red trend line that we've been stuck under you know since this short-term bear market initiated so all in all i'd be keeping an eye on bitcoin breaking above 41.5 if we do i imagine a lot of these altcoins with very very low market caps with you know people that are still buying this i imagine you know coins tokens like this would start having big rallies so like i said in the short term keep an eye on 12 being in my opinion i reckon 12 would be the bottom for the rgt uh, at least in the short term we'd need to see how we re react to it uh, but you know as a more macro target before i get bullish on rgt in the short term i would like to see a strong break back above this 1668 until we do break 1668 we are kind of hovering around this no man's land and you know we could potentially be talking about drops all the way back to uh, when this was previously listed on coinbase so that is all i see for rgt i am expecting more downside in the short term until we do break for uh, 1663 or 1668 uh, once we do break this you know big orange line here like i said um i think we would have a lot of room to go to the upside as the market cap is so low 
you know, my, my number one takeaway is, uh, for me personally, I won't be trying to catch the falling knife on this. This has obviously fallen from 400 to 15. So, you know, me waiting for it to pump above 16, 70 is not going to be the end of the world if I miss out on like a, what, 10, 15% move? A 10% move. So I'd much rather buy after this 10% move breaking back above the 786. Personally, I don't plan on buying this, but yeah, I mean, if I was... I wouldn't be trying to catch the falling knife. I'd wait until the macro market structure is back in play and we are above the 618 at 1690 in this general vicinity anyway. So that is all I see for RGT. If you are holding it, best of luck. Once again, all this is financial advice. It's just my own personal opinion on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Cowboy out. Peace.